Hello, dear friends of Automation Networks. In Automation, there are different network protocols, such as Profinet. If you want to connect BACnet devices directly to Profinet, we have a solution with the PN BACnet link. We will now show you how to combine PN BACnet link with Symatic. With Symatic PN BACnet link, you can connect your Symatic to the network protocol BACnet IP for building automation and attach up to 1000 data points. We start in the network view of TIA portal. A Symatic S7-1500 serves as the controller. The hardware support package for Symatic PN BACnet link is provided in CIOS as a download and is already installed. We open the hardware catalog and find the PN BACnet link under Network Components, Network Transitions. With a double click, we insert it into the network view. The PN BACnet link is a Profinet device and must be assigned to a controller. We click on Not Assigned and select S7-1500. After that, the Profinet connection is established. By double clicking on the PN BACnet link, we access its device view. Click again to open the properties. By selecting the menu item Generate PLC Tags in the properties, the PLC tags are automatically created and named. This option is selected by default. Via the menu item Profinet interface, Ethernet address, you can change the IP address. The properties for BACnet can be configured under the menu item BACnet. At first, an IP address must be assigned. To do this, call the BACnet IP interface setting and configure an IP address. This address must be unique in the network. A default gateway can be defined since the telegrams are routable. The port number is used for communication and is valid for server and client. Port 47808 is the standard BACnet port. The network ID is the explicit ID of the BACnet network. To configure the device as a BACnet server, an explicit and unique instance ID as well as a name are assigned in the server properties. With these settings, the device is displayed as an object in the BACnet network. After the settings have been completed, the configuration is exported as an EDE file and can be read by any BACnet client and used for communication. But first, the I.O. objects must be created. These can be read and written by the clients. For this, a new I.O. object is defined in I.O. objects. Binary I.O. and analog I.O. are possible. For analog values, a unit and a threshold value for value change can be specified. Via the dialog EDE file in the server properties, the finished configuration of the server is exported as an EDE file. We switch to the net view and add a new PN BACnet link, which is the client. By double clicking, we access the device view. Here, the IP can be configured under Profinet interface Ethernet address. The first step for the project engineering of the BACnet client is the configuration of IP address, port and network ID, analog to the server before. The previously exported EDE file is imported into the client. We switch to the network view and load the configuration. As an alternative to importing the EDE file, you can search for BACnet devices. This is done in the properties of the client under the item Client Find BACnet Devices. During the search, you can specify the area of the instance from where you want to search and until where.
If the search was successful, you can see the BACnet devices and the results and you have the possibility to add the data in the client. With this, the commissioning of the BACnet device is completed. It is easy to integrate different network components in your Profinet network. Good luck with your implementation. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.